Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is convert an array into a 2D array with conditions. So in this question, we are given an integer array called nums and we need to create a 2D array from it and we have to follow these three conditions. The first condition says that the 2D array should consist of only elements from the input array nums and each row in the 2D array must consist of distinct elements and the number of rows in the 2D array should be minimal. Let's look at these conditions from bottom to up. So our first task is to get the minimum number of rows. The second task is to fill all those rows with distinct elements. And the third task is that we have to pick only the numbers present inside the input array to fill the rows. Finally, we have to return the 2D array as the output. Coming to this input, we are given the input array nums. So this is the input given to us and we have to form the output. So this is the most important rule which will give us the idea how to solve the question. Each row should consist of distinct integers. So the number of rows can be decided by the maximum frequency of that element. So in this example, one appears three times. So we know there should be at least three rows. And since we have to keep the rows minimum, so three is the minimum number of rows we need. So this is going to be the format of the output. Now you can see we have to place all these three ones in separate rows. So let's place it. So these threes are going to go in two different rows. You can fill the rest of the elements in whatever order because they are only appearing once, four and two. So this is one kind of output which we can generate. And this is the output which they have generated, but they are saying if there are multiple answers, return any one of them. So you can return this as the output too. So now we have the idea of how to form the output. Let us see the optimal approach. Since we are going to need which element is going to appear the most number of times, let's create a frequency array. And the frequency array will be of the size of the input because they are saying that the 2D array consists of only the elements from the input array. So this size is going to be nums.length plus 1 because index position starts from 0. Total there are 7 elements. So size is going to be 8 for this example. Now let's iterate through the input array from left to right. I start from here. And I'm going to use this fact that each occurrence of the new element is going to add a row into the output. So initially all the elements are having frequency of 0, right? So these index positions will also represent the elements of the array. Once frequency is 0, so we need to add a new row into the output. And now I'll add this element at that frequency's row. Frequency's row is 0, so this is the 0th row. Now after adding that element into the row, we need to increment its frequency because we encountered one occurrence of one so count will be incremented by one now go to the next element i is equal to one check the count of that element count of that element is zero check if zero is greater than or equal to size of the output size of the output is one so this condition is failing so there is no need to create a new row so i will get that frequency count which is zero so I add that element at zero row. so three will be added here now after adding that element we need to increment its count so three's count is one now move further. Now i is at 2. Get that elements count. That elements count is 0. Check if 0 is greater than or equal to size of the output. No. So there is no need to add a new row. So add that element 4 at the frequencies row. Frequencies row is 0. So add it at the 0th row. And now increment the count of 4. Count of 4 is 1. Now increment i. i is equal to 3. Get that elements count. That elements count is 1. Check if it is greater than or equal to size of the output. Size of the output is 1. Yes. So we need to add a new row. Because 1 is already appearing here. We can't add it in the same row. So with this condition, we know we need to add a new row. So add that element. Add the frequencies row. This is the first row. So frequencies row is first row. So add that element 1 into that. And increment the count of that variable. Count is incremented to 2. And move i further. Now i is equal to 4. Get the count of that element. Count of 2 is 0. Check if 0 is greater than or equal to size of the output is 2. No. So there is no need to add a new row. So add that element at the frequency row. Frequency of 2 is 0. So add that element at 0 row. So 2 will be added here. Now move i further. Get the count of 3. Count of 3 is 1. 1 is greater than or equal to size of the output is 2. No. This condition is failing. So there is no need to add a new row. Get the frequency of that element 3. 3 frequency is 1. So add it at first row. So 3 will be added here. And now increment the frequency of 3. It's 2 now. Now increment i. i is equal to 6. Frequency of 1 is 2. Check if 2 is greater than or equal to size of the array. Yes. 
so we need to create a new row because one is already appearing in those two rows we cannot add one into the above two rows so we create a new row and add it at the frequencies row so this is the second row one's frequency is two so add one into the second row and now increment the value of one value of one will be incremented to three now move i further now i is equal to seven which is greater than the length of the array so we end the iteration and now whatever is present inside the output will be returned as the output which is matching our expected output here now let's implement the same steps in a java program so this is the input given to us this is the output array which i'm creating called result and this is the frequency array which is equal to nums dot length plus one's length because it says it contains only elements from that nums array and also the constraint is very small the length is equal to 200 so the range of elements inside the array is going to be 1 to 300 so each element's value is going to be between this range now i iterate through the input array from left to right i will start from zero until the length of the array now here we are checking if a new row is needed or not by getting the frequency of that element and comparing it with the size of the output if this condition passes we create a new row and add it into the result and after creating a new row or if a new row already exists we get that row and add that element into that row and then we increment the frequency of that element and finally outside the for loop we return whatever is present inside the output result so this will be our output now do a dry run with the same process i explained before with the code so you get understanding of which line is being executed for which step which i've shown in the previous step so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the input array nums given to us the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a frequency array so for each question the space complexity will depend on the length of the array you can also implement it using space complexity of 201 which is equal to constant space but that will be a slower solution because you need to fill the frequency array of size 201 so that will take a lot of time compared to the length of the nums array's frequency like we implemented here that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video